Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. It's your lovely girl Brie and I realized in my last couple of videos that I have not been doing my introduction and I am so sorry about that because that was my thing. That was my niche, my passion, my go-to, the thing that kept me breathing other than oxygen. So I'm going to start my little videos from now on singing my introduction song because it's popping. So one, two, three. Doop it doop 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 it doop three. Okay, now that that's out the way, I'm so sorry that a video did not go up yesterday. I, I, it's, it's literally me. I start a whole vlog series and I can't even remember to continue the series. Like, I just, I'm horrible. Well, not, not really. Because I was recording a video yesterday and I was actually going to record it and edit it and make it look good. I recorded it. And then my phone goes, LOL, you can't process, you can't upload to YouTube because you don't have any storage. And my button is doing a thing. So yeah, I'm so sorry. The video yesterday would have been really great too because I did so much stuff yesterday that it actually was like worthy of watching. <laughs> yesterday morning, um, I went to the dentist. I don't know if you guys follow me on Snapchat, which is um, kittypretty underscore pop. So check me out because I'm always on Snapchat. That's all I do. Um, and I went to the dentist yesterday, and the dentist lady, let me tell you, I don't know if she was new, I don't know if she was inexperienced, I don't know if I was like the third person to come to her chair ever, because literally, she squirted me with that little, like, water gun that they play with after they brush your teeth with that nasty taste in toothpaste, crap, tastes like asphalt and cement, tastes like a toilet seat, tastes like nail polish remover it's disgusting literally she after she brushed my teeth with that nasty crap she goes and she squirts me for the first the first time the first of like eight times was like all of it is dripping down my neck i'm worried about my foundation running i have to go to work people have to see me after this like i was just concerned for my foundation but mm -hmm. honey it didn't go nowhere, honey. It was right here on my face still. So, bless up LA Colors. Truly matte. I almost said mega matte. Truly matte, okay? And I use warm honey because, honey, I am warm. And that's how this goes. Second time she wants to wet me, okay? I'm in a dentist chair. They have a big old plasma screen TV. I'm trying to watch Coco, but I got no glasses on because she took my regular eyes and she gave me these sunglasses because apparently her light was really like bright but I was like I don't care whatever I'm just here clean my teeth I didn't even know I had a disappointment until yesterday morning when my mom told me so anywho so I'm watching Coco I'm getting to the point right where we find out that the little main guy the protagonist we're rooting for to help little Miguel or whatever his name was try and get that guitar and then the old guy dies he was forgotten and then the guy does the shot and if you've seen Coco you know what I'm talking about I just don't know the names or the characters or the plot or what the really storyline is I'm just kind of you know so I'm trying to watch that and then she goes and she's like digging around in there and she's like hold your head up and I was like I'm holding it up I'm holding it up about to break my neck and you know maybe having you laying like super flat like coffin flat so I feel like that I feel like my boobs even if they're not that big they still feel like I'm gonna suffocate on them so I'm just in there trying not to choke to death while she's prodding around messing with my teeth and then she goes and she goes to rinse and again the stupid rinsing thingy doesn't work. So your girl got whole chin. And she's trying to like make light. She feels bad, I guess. She's like, oh my god, I love that lipstick color on you. And I'm like, honey, okay, thank you. By the way, the color that I was rocking, this is my little bag of everything, was Wet n Wild. And it's just like some lipstick I got from the Dollar Tree. And it's called Breeze. So C531C. I don't know if it's like gonna focus. Don't focus on me. Focus on me. <laughs> so I'm not really gonna put that on today, but I'm just gonna swatch it for you. And you see that? It's really pretty. It's like metallic almost. I've I've been wanting like a metallic, like a simple kind of a neutral metallic color. And because of my skin tone, it's kind of hard to find those. I find a lot of glosses that work, but I don't really have like a stay people lipstick that really works plus I don't have all many lipsticks I kind of want to get into lipstick for college reasons like, I feel like when I grow up you don't wear as much lip gloss you kind of go with a lipstick and I just want to try it out so that's me whatever 
in tune with the story and then she starts complimenting my eye color when i first got there she said she liked my hair and i was like thanks but she said it so awkwardly that i felt uncomfortable so i couldn't even be like oh thank you so much girl i did it myself you know okay but i just didn't want to do all that for her because she was all right and she's just like this really kind of like here in height like i'm five something and she <laughs> probably like five six five seven five eight and she looked this like really blonde hair, like bleach blonde, that she obviously dyed. And her roots were a little yellow, that makes me tell, like, tells me she uses a lot of bleach up there, but she never got the consistency of one color, because it was multiple shades. She also had a lot of split ends, but what, not, not my place to judge. Anywho, my face is so wet. I feel like a kid, and they have like the dribble on them, like, you know when you're like, or like they're a retarded dog whose tongue hangs out their mouth, and this the slob, and that's what I felt like in that dentist chair and honestly it was really just not okay moving on I ended up having to get this sealant crap on my teeth so like two teeth on the side of my face she couldn't really remember she kept telling the doctor different numbers like teeth 14 and 17 15 16 something like that she kept saying so I'm guessing that they describe teeth and numbers I never knew that so learn something new every day and so basically she's telling the doctor which ones I have to get done. So then she goes ahead to do it. It's fine and dandy. It's good. Till she gets the stupid water gun back out to rinse it. And honey, bunches of oats. I am tired of this woman. Because this time she gets it and it's dripping down my neck. And it gets like, I was just wearing like a black camisole t-shirt. Like it really wasn't anything important. But it was just dripping down my chest. And I was like, okay, I feel like I'm taking a shower. And then she jokes about it. She's like, huh, you came here to get your teeth cleaned and you come out with a shower. And I was just like, ha, 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 ha. Like the Ariana Grande when she played cat laugh. Ha, ha, ha. Like, that's how I was thinking in my mind. Because I wasn't going to laugh and then, like, bite her finger off. Because that would be awkward. So, to make that long story short, I left the dentist with broken everything. I'm, I'm, I, whatever. My dentist goodie bag that they always give you with a really expensive toothbrush that probably cost $12 at Walmart. Um, and it's blue. This is my sister's toothbrush. What happened to mine? Okay, now I think mine's in the RV, but this is my sister's one because mine's pink. Hers is blue. But it's kind of cool because they have like their names engraved in it. It's like Healthy Smiles or something. Um, that's pretty dope. My sister also got a, like a floss and a toothpaste like I got, but then we had like prize baskets and it kills me. I She asked me how old I was. I'm like, I'm 17. I was going to say I'm almost 18 because I hate the whole happy early birthday crap. Whatever. I tell her, oh, um, I'm 17. I've been going to the dentist for probably like three years now. And every time I go there, they always make me pick out a prize from the prize basket. And I'm like, I am basically, a, I'm about to be an adult. I am a young adult. Like, I am too old, honey. They're picking out prizes that I'm probably going to throw away or give to my younger sibling. So it's a waste because my sibling has tons of crap anyways. So why am I picking out toys from a toy box? I am not a three-year-old, okay? I, I, I got a dice. I figured a big fuzzy dice would be useful for something. Maybe math. Maybe when I start to gamble. Maybe it'd be useful. I don't know. So, my sister got... She got something. I think she had like a toy soccer ball for her Barbies or some crap. She said, because I had done so good today, I have to pick out two prizes. But like... I've listened to Tupac, but I don't want two prizes, okay? You see what I'm saying? Like, I just... Uh, and I'm trying to pick something up with my feet, because... Yeah, I think it was my first Ollie Liquid Gold. And I'm upset about that, so... Going down? Where's the lights in my foundation? Where's the lights in my foundation? Here's the lights in my foundation. So dirty. Coming up. Hi, I'm back. Did you miss me? No, you did, honey. Mwah. Anywho. I really don't knock anything else over. Yeah, so after that, we went to Burger King. I got my little two for four. Bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. Bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. And I brought my mom some French toast eggs for my sister. Sausage, sausage biscuit. I got her some water, my mom, and orange juice. And then my mom went to work. I took her car to 
to his house. But before I did that, I went and stopped two of my favorite stores ever, Dollar Tree. I picked up a rug for me, RV. Picked up a black hat because when I have like my hair like down and like just short and it just looks good, I want like a cute little hat to rock. Let me see these girls in these cute dad hats. Maybe slaying, honey. But I'm not paying twelve dollars for a hat, not today, Satan. So Dollar Tree has these cute little dad hats for a dollar, and so I just got me a plain black one because you know I love. I love black. You know, like black. 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 I don't know what that was. Um, and then I also got some cookies, some snacks for the house because we didn't really have anything. Picked up some milk. My Dollar Tree sells like boxes of milk, and I got like almond milk because I'm like lactose free, but I like almond milk, so got me some milk. Um,. I think that was it. I also, but I also picked up the lipstick, the Wet n Wild one. That is so beautiful. I, am I doing it like the YouTubers do? Am I, am I doing it right? Let me know. I feel like I'm not. And then after that, my sister and I finally went home, and then we went and I got dressed for work because I had to leave the house by at least 10:30 to make it to work by 11. Um, I actually got to work pretty early, so I was pretty proud of myself. I was like, two claps for me. Um, but before that, I got dressed, and my sister and I finished watching Sherlock Gnomes. We had seen Gnomeo and Juliet, and then we had started watching Sherlock Gnomes like a day or two ago, but we never finished because I had to leave for work, so I finally finished it yesterday, and it was pretty dope. The ending was okay. Um, Watson Sherlock in London, take on, on crime or whatever. So, yeah. Um, I think that was pretty much it for yesterday. Um, I know when I got home after work, well, I picked my mom up after work, and then we went to Target, and we bought some stuff at Target. Now, I'm gonna do, like, a really big, like, when I start getting my college crap together, we're going through, we're doing a whole video of all the stuff that I got for college. Like, it's gonna be big. Um, we're gonna do a move-in day, we're gonna do like university life. Like when I go to college, I plan on recording like every other day for you guys. So there's tons of content about what college is actually like. I wanna document everything. I feel like people when they like start in college and YouTube like when like YouTubers when they go to college they kind of stop. But I feel like I wanna do more. I feel like my life will be more exciting for you guys. So right now I feel like I'm just going through like my day-to-day -day stuff and you guys are like, I don't care. So yeah, so I picked up some stuff from Target, um, mostly my mom just got, like, little random things. We always check out the 135 section, even though it's more of a 35 section, 357, 10 section. Um, they didn't really have anything too much. Um, they had a little, like, like, 4th of July stuff, but nothing super serious. Yeah, I didn't get coffee. My star, my Starbucks, my Target has a Starbucks. You guys know I love my coffee. My caramel, blah, 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 with blah, 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 extra blah, 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 and lots of ayana. And I didn't go get coffee. Like, I had self-control, honeys. You know that I still shopped at Dollar Tree, but I had self-control. So I was proud of myself. I only bought things that I needed for college, which is pretty, I think, mature for me. You ever notice certain words people make really bougie so they sound smarter? Like instead of saying mature, you say mature. So instead of saying go to the movie theater, you're going to the movie theater. Like it's just pronunciation is weird. Anywho, anywho. Hello, my lovelies. We're finally gonna get to today's video, the whole purpose of it, because we're today blah blah blah. Today, we're going to be trying out the new Maybelline New York Tattoo Studio Waterproof Brow Gel. That's what this is. And let me tell you about my trip to Walgreens yesterday. It's totally got to go in here because legit, this stuff here is like $14. The sale, originally before this like 94 cent sticker, hold up guys. They were, it was on sale for what? $6.49. Six forty nine. I got it for ninety four cent. Ninety four. <laughs> ninety four cents. I was proud of myself because, like, I saw one and it said six forty nine, and then I saw this one, and I was like, "This one has a ninety four cent sticker on it." 
is it a typo or not? And so I went to the cash register, and the lady, she rung me up. She said it was $6.49, but she's like, I'll give it to you for the 94 cents. And I was like, sold. Done. And so I finally, 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 whatever. She like, she looks, she, is it all together? And I was like, okay, I can afford this because it's a dollar. I can't afford nothing in that cart because we were buying detergent and stuff so I can start racking up for college. So I can have clean clothes and my mom buy cereal and some other stuff and it was just pretty dope. Um, so we just bought stuff. I hate when there's like tags on boxes because I like to keep the boxes of the product where I can make comment. I don't know, it makes me feel like a bougie queen. It just makes me feel more expensive and when I feel expensive I feel like I have higher value. I know it's like really depressing. Super sorry about that guys. But yeah, I got this for like a dollar and like eight cents. So I was pretty happy because if it's going from $14, which I mean it's made in New York, it's a drugstore brand. But $14 to a dollar, it's $13 that goes in my gas tank, $13 that goes in my t stomach, $13 that goes into or like other makeup, $13 that goes into my horrible obsession with Wish and Wish things that I like to buy because I just love buying things that aren't expensive. Um, I'm just throwing the paper away. Smooth. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. So we're going to just read. I'm going to read you guys the little information here, but I'm going to read it like sounding like a smart person. So, zoop. I already looked more educated. Great. Get brows for days. New waterproof brow gel lasts up to two days. Formula adheres to brows for a no hassle wear, does not transfer, does not smudge, and waterproof. And then it's in Spanish. I don't read Spanish, so these can come back off. We don't need to be smart anymore. <laughs> Basically, the first thing I do, the pro tip, remove excess formula from tip. Then what I do in short, smooth strokes, start mid brow then fill and blend towards the start of the brow so i'm starting here and then i think i'll work my way forward and then just kind of clean up the edges um fill the fill the tail so this is the tail i'm learning about my eyebrows this is the mid this is the front or the start this is this this is the start and this is the tail i didn't know it was called the tail it's like this is my eyebrow <laughs> more you know um optional Blend with spool. Let dry for a minute. Well, if that's optional, I think I have no option but to do it because I want my brows to look right. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully tomorrow when I record my next video for you guys, my eyebrows will be like on point. Um, the plan tomorrow is to do a makeup tutorial, but with a twist. So you guys should totally see my channel tomorrow because it's going to be amazing. I'm actually going to record it, I promise I'm going to just have to do it live so that way I can make sure it gets posted, but tomorrow should be late. And so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, my face, I've already washed it, it's good, my brows have absolutely nothing in them. So what we're going to do beforehand, we're going to do like the eyebrow test where you rub your eyebrow and then you just kind of look, see it's clean, nothing coming off. Same with the other one. And my eyebrows probably just look stupid. <laughs> um, and then afterwards, we're going to, like, let it dry. We'll wait, like, five minutes or so, and then we'll just keep, like... And if it comes off, then we know they're a liar, and I can totally call and sue them. I'm kidding. I'm not doing all that. That's a lot of work. Um, we have Pie Mabel in New York, so... I'm just going to be taking a little handheld mirror. This is my Elf Contour Kit. I use the mirror of it. Look at my setup, guys. It's so ghetto. Ah, I love it. And we're just going <laughs> to... We're just gonna be doing this and trying to see what he's on right now. It's like popping, like, oh my god. I just like to play with the light. Oh god, oh hello, I'm luminous. Okay, so this is in 260 deep brown, by the way. So this is like the whole package. Like, if it will focus on this and not on me, that'd be pretty great. I feel like it's probably still gonna come out blurry. And I know, like. So it's in deep brown. It's probably not the color that I should get. However, it was a dollar. I am not complaining about the color. Because um, if it does work, then it may be something that I can in the future like, in, like, invest in. So the first thing that falls out is the spool wrapped in plastic. And it's a really tiny little spool, honestly. Um, I don't think I've ever owned just like a real authentic 
spool meant for your eyebrows. I've always just kind of used spools from other things or I've gotten ghetto and made DIYs out of old mascara um, brushes. I saw that in a life hack video one time and I thought that was really smart. I've been doing it ever since. So when your mascara runs out, wash out your mascara brush spool thing. Use it for your brows. Life hacks. Life hacks. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming the first thing that we do is we take and you like brush up the brows. So I'm just gonna brush mine up. When I brush them, because my brows usually fall, so then I look like I have no brows. But then I, I have eyebrows. Like this eyebrow right here be popping. This one be struggling. But if you look at this side of my face, it's like the better half, minus the acne. Like this half has the eyebrow. This has like has a smooth skin. It's just like a give or take. You don't get both. Okay. God, you can't have skin like Sandra Bullock. So this is the actual gel. It's pretty cool. It looks kind of like fancy. Maybelline in New York Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. Um, 260 Deep Brown. Caution, Flammable, and Soldier. So if I light a candle, my eyebrows are still wet. Will they burn off? It's so cool. Um, do not use near fire, flame, or heat. It's pretty hot. We're gonna just use it right now and burn my face off. Um, okay, so we're just gonna, like, open it, or I'm just gonna open it. You guys are gonna watch me just open it. I'm trying to make sure that it's not upside down for you. Yeah, so I have to open it this way. Ooh, it, like, popped. So we're just gonna, like, like, have the video, like, the box, like, wipe off the excess. smells like every product I've ever bought from Wish. Like any eyeliner I've ever used, any like anything cheap I've ever bought from Wish, that's what this smells like. Now I'm probably not going to be like in focus, you won't be able to see me too well because I'm trying to get my eyebrows right guys. So it's a process. So I'm starting in the middle like it said to and I'm, work I'm actually working my way out first. Flipping, like, it's kind of like a spool applicator, but not really. Try to keep it light in the middle because I don't want my brows to look fake. I hate those people's whose brows who look like really bad job on brows. So, I'm going to close that. Told me to wait for, like, a minute. But i got to, like, play with the spool and see what's going on because I look... Like, I feel like it looks pretty dark, but, like, a pretty decent color. It doesn't look horrible on me. So I'm just going to, like, brush it down and apply some product where the lighter spots are, where I have more gaps where hair should be. And it probably is, but it's probably blonde. Um... I don't know if I'm like just to wipe it off or anything. It really doesn't say. I'm just gonna brush the brows back up. Like after it's on there, am I supposed to like just with a makeup remover towel? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna leave that for like a minute. So until then, I'm going to go and I'm going to ask my mother how stupid do I look right now. We're going to see what her God honest mother opinion is. Going to see what my mom says about my eyebrow. Hey mother, can I come in? What? I want your opinion. Okay, so see my eyebrow? Which one is the one that I filled in? Does it look swanky? Let me guess. It look crazy. Thank you. Do I look off the? It's wet. Don't touch it. It's like I wet paint. It point to it. It's like wet paint. That one. But it's like oh. You like that? I'm waiting for it to dry. I think. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Goodbye. Have a blessed evening.
Say your prayers. Talk to your Je local Jehovah's Witness. I cannot tell if her reaction was good or bad. Um, my eyebrows not like sharp at the end, and I normally define my brows so that they are sharper, and I just feel really stupid now. <laughs> anyway, I'm like in my laundry area. If you guys have seen my house tour video, vlog, live sort of thing, then you guys know we don't have a laundry room, it's just a laundry area. My brother just like ran across the yard. I have a boat. I also have racist neighbors. <laughs> Yay. BT dubs. Anybody who I at this point in time, with all the crap that's going on in the world, anybody who tells me they're a Trump supporter, I automatically assume from this point on that they're a racist. I don't care if you are the good Christian Pope. You tell me that you agree with his this man's policies, that you trust this man, that anything. I'm going to assume that you were racist. Like, it's not even, like, a joke. Like, this is, like, it's, like, black or white at this point. There's no gray area. There's no, none of that, no, no, no intertwining. I'm gonna assume you're racist. Um, back to my brows. We're gonna go ahead and fill the other one in, and we're gonna pray that my eyebrows don't fall off. There's gotta be reasons marked down from $6 to not any four cents. A mistake. We'll pray for that. God's gift to me, pray for that. Because it's making people's eyebrows fall off. We're going to hope for not. If my eyebrows fall off, do you guys think I can become, like, famous for that? Like, could it be a vibe? Could it go viral? Ellen puts me on her show. She gives me a new set of eyebrows for life. Be great. But get Zendaya's brows. That's what I really want. I want brows like Zendaya. Does Zendaya do this? Could someone, like, let me know if, like, Zendaya does this to her brows? If she, like, you know... I just want to know. Ooh. That is the negro. Like the crayons be saying, the negro. That looks really black. Okay, I can go back over this brow and try and, like, Define the end of it because like spots that seem like they're gappy. So, okay, so now I'm feeling like this brow is like Instagram worthy, like mm, honey, and this brow is like <laughs> like those videos that are like this is how you should do your makeup, but it's coming out like this. I'm gonna tell you why everything you're doing is wrong. Okay, okay. I can't do it. Okay. See, I feel like if I roll my R's, the world would be more loving of me. But I can't. I forgot that I had lipstick on my hand. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> There's people who say, I know it like the back of my hand. I don't, apparently. Ooh, notification. All from Instagram. Aww. This girl that I used to hang out with, like, was, like, best friends with in elementary school. I randomly started, like, I thought of her. Like, I had, like, this weird, like... I thought of her and so I followed her on Instagram and now she's following me back so it's pretty dope. She's got like a thousand followers, I have like six. It's still dope. <laughs> By the way, if you guys haven't checked out my Instagram, it's Issa Bri Bri, so I-S-S-A-B-R-I-B-R-I -S -S -B -R -I -B -R -I, and I post a lot. Or not at all. I can go days without posting but then I'll do like a spree where I post every couple hours. It's pretty unhealthy. Um, I'm just gonna brush this brow up. Yeah, I'm really loving, I mean, I don't have glasses on, obviously, but I'm really loving the way this brow's just, like, looking, and this one's over here giving me, like, cardiac arrest. Like, I don't know if it's, like, my fault my brows suck. Probably, because I... Okay, I don't wax my brows because the wax makes me break out. I don't pluck my brows because I have a fear of tweezers. So I use like little razors from the little beauty supply store where like all the Asian people work and they sell me really great things like weave and eyebrow razors and like mink lashes and... Oh, the girl I was just telling you guys about my old BFF. Yeah, she just messaged me. Now I feel awkward because I'm doing a video and I can't like message her back. But, um, yeah. I used to be really 
jealous of her when I was a kid, honestly, because, like, when I was younger, she was, like, way smarter than me, and I always thought that she was prettier than me, but there were points in my life where I was more, like, grateful for my life than her, like, it was weird, and then, like, we stopped being friends, because she got, like, really fake, but she was like, for me, she was fake before fake was, like, a thing. You know, people would say, like, oh, my God, that's so fake. Like, literally, that was what was going on in my head. But I was a child. So, what did I know? So, I feel like this one's been dry long enough, but I added more stuff to it. So, I might have messed it up. Um, this one still looks wet from my view of it. I feel like me just having my brows done doesn't do it any justice. So, I'm just going to put on some mascara. I'm gonna go off camera for this because I need to see and I'd stab myself in the eye. So you guys get to see the top of my head. Look at all that new grow. Look at these not smooth edges because I don't know how to gel them down because my hair sucks. I've been natural for... Oh god, I've been natural for like almost... I want to say about a year. Like I haven't been putting any perms in my hair. Um, when I'm not rocking my natural hair then you guys... Maybe I know this already. I wear wigs. I like wigs. I'm lazy. I don't like to touch my real hair. Um, yet I'm too committed to having some kind of hair to put like the braids in, so I would never like want to shave my head completely bald, even though I have those moments where I'm like, I want to be bald. But no. For some reason, the thought of my mother like choke slamming it because I go bald is just like what I feel like, you know? I'll show you like choke slamming more so like give me that look that says what have you done with your life and I'd be like really disappointed and she give me that look just so now that I have on some mascara I'm starting to feel a little bit better I think like me having lashes just makes me feel like a better person like I feel like when my lashes are on, or like when I had lashes for graduation, like my aunt gave me some, like she put on some mink lashes for me for graduation the first time ever. I, it felt so weird, but at the same time it was like, oh honey, yes, look at me, 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 look at me. Yeah, I felt all, all that in a bag of chips, to be honest. And yeah. So, oh, oh I didn't mean this part. 98% saw fuller, thicker brows, um, and 93% of the gel does not transfer based on consumer tests, so. I gotta hope these consumers aren't liars. Cause if they are, I will hunt all of them down and cry in front of them. Make them feel guilty for lying to these beautiful innocencies. It's probably why I'm single. <laughs> Cause I make people uncomfortable. <laughs> I also make a lot of random like noises. I make like dolphin noises. I make like I'm, there's like a eyelash in my mascara and it's just really grossing me out. I don't know why it's there. <sighs> By the way, I have a slight addiction to mascara. Like, I have an unhealthy amount of different mascaras, but they're all like really cheap. So. Um. Because you guys know I'm a cheapskate. I'm so cheap. Literally, like, I have some like really few nice quality things. But in reality, I'd just rather be a cheapskate, man. I'm not like an extreme cheapskate. Like, those people are really cheap. But, like, for me, for me, for me, being cheap is all that in a bag of chips. <laughs> okay, okay. So, I think my brows, looking in my mirror, I think my brows are pretty much as good as they're going to get at this point. So, we're going to do the... Finger test. And they do the same fingers I haven't washed my hands. Same little crummy fingers touched my brows before. So I might I might wait a little bit more on this one, but we're gonna just am I making you uncomfortable yet? How about now? How about now? How uncomfortable are you? I'm pretty uncomfortable. So we're gonna stop. Yeah. And now that I've scarred 52% of America's children. Time for the big reveal. So I'm just gonna go shoop. And we're just gonna like. Oh. Well, my dupes, okay. My fingers are a little darker 
than originally like so this is the clean hand so they're a little darker not much like of a whole rub off like I use like a really cheap um, eyebrow gel um, it's by Walmart not that elf like like lock on liner but the um, just like a cheap eyebrow gel and like I touch my eyebrows throughout the day I can see it like the actual gel but this one's just like a little bit of the tint I guess because they were still a little wet in certain spots so that's pretty decent time like I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with it um still don't have glasses on so I could look butt ugly and I wouldn't know um because everything is like really blurry so we're gonna go ahead and do the other eyebrow we're just gonna And same thing here. It's not like super clean, but I mean, it's a little bit tanner. This was like a little bit more product on it. Probably still was a little too wet. I put up quite a few coats on it. Um, okay. Now, when I went and pressed my whole finger on top of the brow like that, it did come up with a lot of residue. Not like soaking wet, but more like a sticky, like the like the sub like the quality of it or like what's the word I'm looking for like the pigmentation of it came off of my hand because it wasn't fully dry but it wasn't horrible so we're gonna do the same thing on this one and see how it goes yeah same kind of deal now my eyebrows feel really matted and it feels kind of weird so we're gonna take the spoolie and we're just gonna like yeah because now this feels weird no, that just doesn't work anymore for me. I gotta take my little elf spool. It's like a bit more loved, and I'm just gonna. Okay, now, now that I'm looking at them up close, they don't look bad. I mean, they feel a little rough, like, because it's like a gel, so it feels like it's a little bit more like. <coughs> but I'm not hating my brows. Like, they look okay, I think. Like, if I look busted, comment down below don't be that person that tells me I look good and I look horrible that's what my friends said for prom when I had a fake dress I have fake friends don't be a fake subscriber please don't do that to me I have a mental breakdown I said today so I'm gonna take some of the great lash this is by Maybelline New York so same kind of thing going on here and I'm just gonna take a little bit and kind of go over the gel to see if my eyebrows pop. Like, I want them Instagram brows, okay? My brows have never been Instagram worthy. Also, probably because I don't know how to do my brows. My eyebrows have been like a learning experience. I learn so much every day doing a different brow routine that it's crazy, so. Okay. Well, what I've noticed by doing this up close is that I have major, like, almost unibrow here. And I, as soon as I see hair in between my eyebrows, I have to get it. I don't know if it's anyone else. Like, if you do that, like, you have to get your, like, eh, like, you just have to get the hair before anyone sees it. Please like this video. Because, like, that would, that's just relatable, I think. Like, everyone's just, you know? Um, because... As of like now, okay, most body hair people are comfortable with. Like you don't shave your legs, you don't shave your arms. I mean not your arms, your armpits. Shave your mustache, whatever girl do you, but like your brows, honey. It's 2018. If you got busted brows, I can't be seen with you. Our Instagram pictures will always look like trash if your brows looking like that. Okay, so no. So just gonna clean up the spots that look questionable and like underneath my brows look good today so I shaved them yesterday but I guess I missed in between my brows because I am a hairy beast okay I can shave on Monday and by Monday by I say by Monday at like six in the morning by like five o'clock that evening prickle didickle delickle just disgusting okay it's horrible i don't like it and if i could afford that laser hair removal stuff i would do it but i'm 17. 
I work at Wendy's. I'm making eight thirty-five an hour. Okay, I do not have money for no laser hair removal. If they're telling me on the radio, call, mention this ad, get three hundred dollars off, and my check is two hundred and something dollars, how am I going to be able to afford laser hair removal surgery or procedure or whatever? Wait, hold on. My brows feel weird. <laughs> they feel stiff. I'm gonna like look at like some dope background music for you guys. Like, no, oh, it's like little filters. Oh my god, it's so cute. Um, no. Okay, yeah, no. Uh, whatever. So we're just gonna be two sixty deep brown. I'm gonna try and like look at the camera. I know I always look away, and you guys are like over here, but I always look over there because I'm looking at myself. So we're just gonna try and. We're gonna do that thing where people like from side to side, so. In the back, and so my brows. I, I, I mean, I think this is kind of the color that I normally go for. Maybe a little darker. I like to just kind of like match my hair to my brows. Like when I change wigs or change hairstyles, I'm doing like a lighter hair color, I like to do lighter brows. If I'm doing a darker hair color, I do darker brows. I like to keep things coherent. Check. <laughs> and plus one for using big vocabulary the right way. Um, now we're going to put my glasses on and see how I actually look. Well, now that I've done both of them, I think they look better. I mean, yeah, they're pretty dark. Um, they're kind of instagram -y. Like, this one says sharp. Like, I will cut you. You know what I'm saying? But this one's like, ha, 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 ha. You're going to cut me. Ha, 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 ha. You're going to cut me. Cut this. And then, like, it's disrespectful at that point on. Um, I don't know, I feel, I feel like, I'm just trying to go, shh, but then I know I regret that, so I'm not going to touch my eyebrows with another razor. Mm, guys, I need to know, I don't know, do my brows look awesome, do they suck, do I look busted, tell me, be on it, it doesn't work, just like, guys, guys, I don't know, I feel like they look just, really dark and I don't want people to think that I'm crazy I'm like oh that girl got her brows you know because it was a dollar and it's a nice high quality drugstore makeup product <laughs> nice for people with darker hair <laughs> god I feel like I look stupid like because I can't see right now everything looks like really good but <laughs> I put my glasses on and I was just like I feel like this video is getting too long and I'm not going to be able to edit. Oh my god, 44 minutes? Jesus Christ, I'm so sorry, you guys. If I could edit this, speed it up, play some background music, I totally would. So, as of that, we're going to end this video on a high note. We're just going to hope and pray and ask Jesus Christ himself not to have my eyebrows fall off. And now we're going to sing the, the goodbye song or whatever and then we're going to just go because I'm taking up too much.